They have to stay back. Yep. I do acting as a side gig. <laughs> <laughs> hey, way to go after yourself. Finish my trip. Already on. So, we're calling out to the indigenous youth and all youth around the world to join us here to stop the DAPLA pipeline in Standing Rock. Join us in our struggle and we'll join you in yours. We're all in this together. It's time for a new world of clean, renewable energy. Thank you. What is life? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
When you when you sign in, when you yeah. swear in as a as a you know in the military, you sign a, you, you know you sign an oath. You literally put your life we'll on the line finger. for the U.S. Constitution and people of America. Want anybody here getting hurt? This is this is a complete betrayal of all that in my eyes as a veteran <clears throat> and as a native person. It it feels it feels very threatening to me. What uh, tribe are you? I'm a Machica, uh, South uh, Mesoamerican native person. Mm. And uh, yeah, I came here to support the Lakota people with, and Standing Rock Lakota people. Uh, show my solidarity for them. We are peaceful yesterday. We have taken that hill. They've waged war on us. The tactics that they're using, this barbed wire, Constantina wire, is an act, is uh, something that you would do uh, when you're in a combat zone. The lights is psychological warfare. The surveillance that they're running, that's, 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 those are war, warfare tactics as well. The chemicals they're using are chemical warfare tactics. The absurdity that, that they're calling native people trespassers is also just completely, totally, absolutely absurd to me. The native people would be called trespassers on their own land. It doesn't make any sense. 
And you have a two-star general up there picking sides with uniforms and not with people, with companies and not with people. You play with the holiness. You play with your soul. I was, I was assisting another uh, native that was shot in the finger. Yep. So when he when he went down, I turned around and was assisting him, getting him picked up and getting the medics um, to, to, to evacuate him. I was shot in the back um, from about 12, 13 feet away. So when he got up and he got evacuated, I turned around and maintained the line in front. For about five minutes, just, just protecting the, the, the water from spraying us. And I was holding the plywood. And at that point, the cannon hit the plywood and it opened up and an officer leaned forward. And with that, bo that body mechanics, of, he's about to shoot me. I just turned my head down to protect my face and he shot me in the head. Uh, my name is Don Clark. Uh, I'm from Blue Ridge, Georgia. Uh, I'm here to stand with the Lakota. Uh, they're the only people that have really stood up against this kind of thing on the whole planet. And uh, we have to turn to renewable energy. On this earth, it's because of you that this thing has gone worldwide. It's not just about a pipeline anymore. It's about protecting our mother, oh. our first mother. Okay. Oh. It's about protecting what is sacred in this world. And that's what I. That's what I thank every single one of you for coming to my homeland, uh, coming here and helping us. We're not protesters. We're not protesting okay. anything. We're protecting. protecting. Oh. We're protecting. Oh. Call me Doc Yappy. Oh. 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 I just want to um, start off by just thanking everybody for your commitment and your passion for everything that you stood for. I mean, it was, uh, it's true. If you want to know, there's a lot of things that people say and it's never confirmed and I never believe anything until I hear it myself. Uh, today, the Department of Army, Joe Allen Darcy, uh, contacted me and said uh, the Corps of Engineers is going to deny the easement. Yeah. <laughs> We're also going to deny, or they're asking for a reroute and a full environmental impact statement. Come <laughs> through. These are things that we've been asking for uh, from the beginning, and it's uh, it's symbolic. It, it, today is a, a moment in time that uh, we'll all remember. Uh, we we prayed about this. This is something that we've uh, been asking the federal government of this country to, for once, look at us 
for once remember and think about all the things, all the wrongs that you have done. And it's our opportunity now is not to forget those wrongs, but to forgive. Each, each and every one of us has to learn that virtue. That virtue is to, to forgive now and so that we can live better lives. Our, our people deserve better lives in this nation. So today, I know it's a, it's a good feeling and we still have to remain in prayer. We still have to remain peaceful. That's what helps us win. The prayer and peace is what brought us here and what made us victory. And we were told this. We were told this by our youth who started this movement to remain non-violent. We were told by our elders to remain non-violent. We were told by the Spirit to remain non-violent. And if you remain non-violent, you won't be successful. have been um, a small part of this movement and to stand with all of you and to learn from all of you from the last six months or eight months now. Mm -hmm. and we were in Washington DC with the runners, with the youth who started this in, the, in July and there was maybe 50 people who showed up to the rally because no one was paying attention. And then we came from Washington DC to the camp here and it was before big camp even existed. It was just Sacred Stone Camp and there was maybe 55, 60 people on the ground. And in a matter of four months, this is worldwide news. And the thing about knowledge is when you know, you can't unknow. And now the world knows. Because of what you guys have stood for and because what you guys are doing, my children will have clean drinking water and your children will have clean drinking water. It's beautiful that the, the easement was denied today, but we got, I mean, bigger than a pipeline. This is the beginning, because we're all united now. <laughs> so we feel just, you know, from the bottom of our hearts, so honored um, and so privileged to know all of you and to stand with you, not only against the Dakota Access Pipeline, but for all the decades to come, because we're in this together. So thank you so much for <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. 